This is the Pizza Man Predator, better known as Jeff Sokol. This is the uncut version of Hanson vs. Predators. We are going to see just how sick some of these Predators are, and we'll get a little bit more insight into what goes on. My name is Trey, welcome to What Can I Change? Let's get right into the video. Sorry about that. Come on How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Do you find the house okay? No, because it's really dark out. So. Oh. How long did it take you to get here? I don't know, it took two and a half hours. That's a long drive. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you're gonna be a hug? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Absolute weirdo. Keep in that mind. I want you to keep in your mind. <laughs> Two and a half hours he drove. That's going to be important here later. I also want to say this. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please know that I know some people like my shorter videos. This is going to be a very long breakdown. So if you love my voice, sit back, relax, grab some pizza <laughs> like he did. Not really. And enjoy. Okay. So let's continue to watch. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll settle into it. <laughs> okay. So, can I teach you that? Just um, the um, the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one. So, I didn't, I didn't know that. Like you said, small. I thought it'd be like a really small one. Yeah. I said big one. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I am. I'm fine. I've just never done this before. I know. Have I, you? No. Not really. I mean... Are you telling me the truth? I mean, I've met girls on mine, but... I... I don't, like, come, like, this far to, like, meet someone. I don't know why I, you know... It's kind of crazy, huh? It is crazy. Yeah, why did you let me come? I don't know. If what do you mean? She's 13 years old. And keep in mind, people, this per this girl is not actually 13 years old. This girl is 19. But remember this. He asked, the, and this is something I want you guys to keep in mind. Okay. When you see a young a man do something like this, it's because they see little girls as little women. And that's some of the problems that you see a lot of when it comes to these predators and it comes to people who think this way. Today, we have obviously an expanded version of what this we people call themselves maps, which is minor attractive people. And that um, has somewhat of a small following. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of gooners and stuff like that. And so with the small following, they don't see this as just regular girls because they probably never work with kids. Thank God. But they see them as little women that, that can make their own decisions, can think just like an, a, a normal adult will. And so they talk to them like an adult. But at the same time, they also see them as an adult, but they see them as like a something they can actually manipulate, something they can mold. So they understand that part of them being a child. But at the same time, they also can't break away from reality that this is a kid and this is something disgusting. I could ruin this girl's life. They can't break that reality either. And so it's just this whole, whole jumble of stuff. So nervous. It seems like a good idea, and you seem nice. Why do you think I came? I think I know. It's not the only reason. It's not the reason. What's the reason? He says that's not the only reason. And I just not the reason. been talking to you for a while and you seem like really cool to hang out with and you know someone that I'd like to meet and I how does how does <laughs> how does and I get okay because I have to keep in mind that he was talking to a decoy so a decoy is also an adult and even as much as an adult wants to pretend to be a little girl it's impossible to pretend to be a child like children really do think much different than adults. Us adults are using our adult mind to act like what we think a kid would act like. The only way you could probably get into the fullness of that is to work with children. Then maybe you can kind of get your mind to get back down there. But if you don't work with children, then it's, you're, you're doing what you think a 13 year old would do. So let me say this. He said that you would be cool to hang out with. That's weird. 
number one. Okay. And two, he said that she was cool. <laughs> You're 40 years old, man. You're 40 years old. This is what, it, this was the problem back then. It's a problem today. Too many of the people who are in their 40s, 30s, they just act like children. They really look for validation from kids. They think that if a kid thinks they're cool or they think if a kid thinks they're fun to be around or talk to, that they hit this new status because <laughs> they can't do it with old women, obviously, because they're too socially awkward. But at the same time, it's kind of like they they think that kids know more than adults in some way. Some way, like, kids know what's cool and adults don't. No, it's not that kids know what is cool. It's just that kids find things cool. They find things trendy. But that's because they're a child. They have no real responsibilities or anything else going on in life. So, of course, they're going to be like, oh, that's a cool thing. Oh, that guy's cool. Oh, I'm in love with Taylor Swift. Oh, I'm in love with Harry Styles. They got nothing going on in their life. So, they, it's just like clinging to like a small toy for them. It's not the same as what – so, for him to say – <clears throat> she seems cool. It just, to me, it sounds like he's trying to get down to her level, which is very weird. Uh, to check out the situation, you know? Well, here we are. Yeah. Okay. So, let's do with this whole contract thing, because I'm just going to be thinking about it the whole time. Okay, so I, I have to explain that, because it's not going to make any sense, even if you watch the rest of this video, because I'm going to be talking so much. But... Um, this is a full breakdown. So the the contract she's talking about is that he put into his in a text message that he was he wanted a marital contract and they were gonna elope. That way if the police came, he wouldn't be in trouble. Uh hey idiot, you still would be in trouble. You can't elope with a thirteen year old. So there's there's no way of getting out of that. But some of these men, they use marriage or getting married as another uh tactic. Uh, being manipulative they'll say something like oh we can get married we'll have this great life we can elope they'll say stuff like that um to kind of get into the little girl's mind and that actually does work we watched a video not too long ago of a 16 year old um and a man who was in his late 30s to 40s say the same thing and the little girl who was 16 at the time when she turned like 21 22 she mentioned that him saying hey let's get married actually got into her head and that's what these men do. They normally go after troubled children for that reason. They go after kids who are struggling with love or self-esteem. And they'll say stuff like, I love you. I want to marry you. You're so beautiful. And that's what they're doing because these kids already have a low self-esteem. And once again, they haven't developed the skills or a cope or therapy to be able to uh, emotionally understand what's going on with them. So they take all that stuff and be like, oh, somebody actually loves me. Somebody wants to marry me. Just wanted to break that down real quick. Until we get that out of the way. This document was something Sokol put together after some research on the internet to protect himself from getting in trouble for having sex with a 13-year-old girl. He talked about it in the chat along with a lot of other graphic topics. It didn't work. Obviously everything I just said, but I gave you a better breakdown. Um, let's, let's see. And we can like, talk about it. There's plates behind you. How did that microphone pick up the bag so well? I'm sorry, that bag was super loud. I don't know how the microphone picked that up that well. There's plates behind you. Do you want a water or anything? No. Okay. Man, well, I got this for in case we want right, to I'll, I'll grab the water. All right, it will help. Uh, you want to eat at the table? What do you want to do? Um, no, I'm going to stay here. That, too, dude, that is the creepiest smile. Every time I see it, I, 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 my, I feel like I'm gonna burst out of my skin. Um, don't you just take your? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, yeah, I expected it to be like two and a half hours, so. You're from the Boston area, is it? Yeah, can I wash my hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some family that lives up there. It's pretty nice. Do you? Yeah, I've been to a uh, Canyon Hall. Where's your family? Like, what, what part of Boston? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Boston's so confusing. It's a uh, wicked confusing. Okay. She, she took it too far with that wicked confusing part. I feel like she's really trying to push the 13 year old. I wouldn't have gone that far. I wouldn't have gone that far. This is just me coming from a, a different side of things. This is weird. I know I'm saying this, but remember, I, I know this girl's a 19 year old theater student. And uh, so her saying wicked confusing, she could have just stuck with confusing. That would have worked. This guy 
believes this is all real, you don't have to make it more believable. Trust me, this man wants to do this disgusting act so bad, he drove two and a half hours. He's going to convince himself it's real. He's already done that by this point. You don't drive two and a half hours to do anything in this world unless you think it's real. I would not drive two and a half hours for a job interview if I thought it was fake. So he's already have to have um, convinced himself that this is really a 13-year-old girl. Does that make sense? I'll try to be cool. No, it's okay. We'll work on it. I mean, you look great. Thanks. You just look disgusting. Sorry. Different than what I, I than like in the pictures. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I expected you to have dark hair. Did you? My hair just it lightens up in the summer. And, and no, I'm not saying. I mean, I think you look <laughs> you don't great. Like it? I think you look great. I'm just saying, like you, you look different. <laughs> yeah. Than than uh, than I thought. Yeah. But uh, no, nothing wrong with well, that. Well, you never can tell with online things, you know. What about me? Um, do, do I look different? I mean, you look different. I'm not saying better or worse, just different. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have cupcakes too, if you want them. Let's see, did you make them? Look at those. Do you think I made those? Mm -mm. I don't know, yeah. No. Do you want to use plates or? Whatever you want. We're pretty casual here. Okay. <laughs> I want you all to also notice is that the, this is going on for a while. In the And when you watch the TV show, Handsome vs. Predator, it seems like um, this is happening much faster than it is. So now it makes a lot more sense how they really get really involved into it now. Like, she is making it very real. For, like I said, he's already convinced himself. But at the same time, this is a long conversation. Even four or five minutes is a long time. He's really kind of like, okay, this is real. She's really here. That's what they really get them to do, to open up and be like, okay. They're not on edge because you don't want a person on edge. And it's like, okay, this is actually real. I'm like too nervous to you. <laughs> well, you already ate, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I was just, I was wondering if you were going to be, like, how, how would you be? Like, would you be nervous? Would you be like totally, like... <laughs> Like like you've done this before. Oh, you know, definitely like, haven't like, done this before. <laughs> like I don't know, you just seemed very very like you didn't seem nervous at all. You sound like Ethan Klein. Uh, when I talk to you and just in well, you know, it's different when you're talking to someone online versus like person. coming to their house know, and meeting them. I know. I just gotta take take something. Uh, this isn't drugs. It's just a uh, yeah. No, by all means, here, drink water. It's something that I take when I before I. Eat. He was, so Chris Hansen's about to come on and say what what that actually was, but it's I'm gonna explain here after Chris Hansen says his part how disgusting this truly is. In the middle of it all, Sokol pulls out a medicine bottle. You can see it on the video. He takes a pill apparently in preparation for what he thinks is going to be a big night ahead. So this is a pill that you would take the what. Some people know as Viagra. Some people, the younger people may know as Blue Chew, right? So it's a thing that helps you um, hold on to an erection longer. Um, it, it's so what's disgusting about this whole thing is that this man, this man lied about it and said that it was something that he just takes for um, like, you know, heartburn or something like uh, um, a reflex, you know? And so I said reflex, sorry. And so it's more disgusting because what this tells me is that this man is willing to, once again, he drove two and a half hours. He just took this pill. He is ready to have intercourse with this little girl. The, 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 I'm about to say the problem is, the obvious problem is, this man sounds like, whether this girl wants to go through with this or not, he's already got in his head he's going to try to manipulate this girl to follow through with it. He wouldn't have not took that pill if he thought that mm, this may or may not happen. She says no, she says no. He's already getting himself ready to go. He's already in that mindset. And men, let's just have a quick conversation. We'll continue here. Men, you know that when you get in this mood, um, it's obviously... Um, I could talk more to married men than unmarried men, but men, you, you know, when you get in this mood, when you're ready to, um, have intercourse with your wife or whoever, um, it's, it's really hard to, unless you have the discipline, which you should have 
by this time at 42. But unless you have the discipline, a lot of you is going to go as far as you can. Your, your mind gets so set on it that you're going to push it to whatever you do. That's why you get these young men today or you get men in general who pressure women into this thing. They, they do everything they can for it. I'm not saying go as far as um, taking advantage of, but some men will try to pressure them like, come on, babe, you know, like this is our first time, you know, and I, I've been waiting all night. And, you know, you're not going to leave me like this, right? You're not going to leave me blue balled, stuff like that, right? And so this man is going through that same thing. I think he would do that to this young girl. Of course, since he is a sicko, I'm pretty sure this man would have took it much further. What have you been doing all day? I'm just hanging out, watching TV, Netflix and stuff. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want to check? Somebody here? No. It's hard to hear that part. I'll try to play it for you one more time. I'll turn it up just for a second. I have no idea. What have you been doing all day? I'm just hanging out. Watching TV, Netflix and stuff. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want to check? Somebody here? No. So even I can barely hear it. Who's this? Something. I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who are you? You tell me first. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. Who's her? I, I, I want to know who you are. I want to know a little bit more about you first. Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. Tell me who you are, is, you know, a... Didn't know there would be other people here. Well, what did you expect to happen here tonight, Jeff? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever. That's a flat freaking lie. <laughs> Try not to curse too much here. But that is a lie. He clearly took the pill thinking that he was going to be able to have intercourse with this girl. So for him to say no expectations, you're going to hear him say that all over and over. Keep going back to the fact that he drove two and a half hours and he just took a pill in order to have intercourse. Do not let that leave your mind. No. So you drove two and a half hours? Sure did. From Boston. <sighs> Who are you? To come here. Are you a dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you a dad? I will get to that in a minute. Uh -huh. Go ahead, have a bite. I am. I haven't done anything wrong. Even the way he eats disgusts me. How old are you? What does it matter? I'd like to know. I haven't done anything wrong. Coming to meet somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming to meet Stop! I'm going to tell you guys a quick little story. Just, just, just bear with me for a quick second because I want y'all to break down that part of he didn't think there's anything wrong because I had this exact situation happen to me as I was talking to somebody. So I knew this older woman. She was about, let's say, 38 to 42, somewhere in that range. And she was dating a guy who had a daughter who was 10 years old. One time she said that she's going to go to, she told, she was telling me that she was going to go to the uh, house with the 10 year old girl. And I said, Oh, you got to babysit. She says, no, I don't babysit. I'm going to hang out with her. And I said, how do you hang out with a 10 year old girl? So what do you and a 10 year old girl have in common at all? And what I was really trying to convey to her, she, I hope she got the message. It seemed like she did. She was a little bit of a weirdo, so she probably just didn't understand. But the point was, you can't hang out with underage people. Okay. And when I asked her, what do you and a 10 year old have in common? She said, we could talk about boys. Oh, really? What age? What age boys are you going to talk about? Because she's only 10. You're, you're, you're 38 or at least in your 40s. So are you, gonna, are you going to sit here and talk to this little girl about 10-year-old boys? 11, 12-year-old boys? Teenage boys? Is that what you're going to talk to her about? And what are you going to say about teenage boys that's going <laughs> to, y'all can have a good laugh and a good uh, girl time with? <sighs> Listen. Now, I know this guy's a weirdo, but in the case of this woman, guys, it's never okay to hang out with an underage person. Use your head. It's disgusting. It really is. 
think to yourself, you as a grown ass adult, how can you have anything to talk about or hang out with a 13 year old? I understand if you're having a conversation with such kid. Some situations that happen, especially if you work at a school, maybe you're standing in line at a grocery store. I get that. But to go over to a person's, go over to a house where the child's parents are not there and to want to hang out with them like they're some friend of yours, mm -mm, that's weird. Don't ever think that that's normal. It's not. Always remember, and I hate having to even say this, but it just seems like some people don't understand. You are always the adult. You're the adult. A young girl? Yes, against the law. It is after this chat. How? Is that Did you bring law? some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? <laughs> Let's see if any of this sounds familiar while you enjoy your pizza. I should come see you on Saturday. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. How are the mics this good? This was from like six, seven, eight years ago. I understand. Uh, sorry, it just bothers me. You can hear him eating. The mics are so good. You can hear him going. Like, where are the mics if they're that good? I'm sorry. You say, I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. Yep. And then you say, do you trim your blank? Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, the little girl. And she shaves her private parts. <laughs> now, you know that this girl is 13, right? I wasn't sure. She's told you. Oh, you. I've watched this video over and over, but it just drives me nuts. <laughs> the way, like, I, I catch small details over and over again. I wasn't sure. She told you she was thirsty. What do you mean she, you weren't sure? Like, what, like, this is the dumbest thing these predators always do. What? She said she was 13. Why did you want to hang out with her? Well, I wasn't sure she was actually 13. What little girls get to lie about that? Most pe most girls or most teenagers would only lie and say they're older. So what did you think? She was 13? She was going to say lie and say she's 13, but she was actually 25? <laughs> like, that's not what normally happens, sir. Let's not let's not play games. If she, even if she was 13 and she lied, she, then she would have been lying about how old she is. She, been, she obviously would have been younger than that. She could have been 11. Would you be okay with that? She was actually 11. Would you be fine with that? Come on, dude. No. That doesn't... And you're what? 37? That doesn't mean anything. You're 37? How old are you? You might as well just tell me because I can find out like that. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are first? I will tell you that in a minute. Because, you know, now you're, you're making me nervous and... You're 44 years old. 44 right? years mm -hmm. old. Right? I said 42. As Sorry. a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13-year-old girls like this. Yet I want to. That's, that's, that's what I want to talk about right quickly. So what Chris Hansen just said is, I'm a 44-year-old man. I'm talking to a 13-year-old. I shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old, yet I want to. I'm going to tell you one more quick story. We'll continue. And I, I'm, I'm telling you these stories to help you kind of get into the mind of some of these people. I work with a, a man who is around my age, and he made everybody uncomfortable. He made the women uncomfortable. He made me as a man uncomfortable because of the way he talked to the children. At some point, he would talk to the little girls as if they were friends. He would try to be cool with the kids. You remember how earlier this guy in the video said, oh, you know what? I thought you were cool. And I said that some of these people uh, try to get validated by that. This is the perfect example. This guy, I get it. Okay. Overset man. I'm a heavy set man. But this guy, obviously I was married. He was single. And so he's probably not having as much luck with the uh, women. And so what did these men do? They go to the young girls because these men have cars, houses, and stuff like that that young girls don't have, obviously. And he tried to be cool to these kids. He tried to get the kids to be like, hey, this it's that, it's that guy. He's so cool. He's so fun to be around. And um, it was disturbing. Because when you work in the school setting, the one thing that is always weird is that when you find adults who try to get validated by children, okay, there should never be a reason for you as an adult to need to be validated by anything a kid says. We see this a lot on YouTube as well.
okay, when we see YouTubers act a certain way to get validations from kids, act like an adult. I understand trying to make your content relevant, but to try to get the validation of a child is just disgusting. You need to work on that because it's not something you should ever get towards. It should never be something you're proud of, that kids think you're cool, okay? Kids don't know what cool is. Kids don't have any concept of that. They just find something interesting. That's why you have Swifties. That's why you have kids who are in love with Harry Styles. That's why you have all these kids who are fanatics of certain uh, YouTubers, um, certain social media things, on all the trends you see on TikTok. That's why. They're kids. That's what kids do. We did it when we were kids. We dressed a certain way because we looked up to adults and thought, well, if this adult does it, then it must be okay. Please keep this in mind. This young man, as I was talking about, he decided to do all this stuff with these little girls and stuff like that. He eventually went too far and he threw a party at his house. You, can you guess who came to this party? A bunch of adults? Mm. A bunch of teenagers from like ages 12 to 15. 12 to 15. He's a single man. This is his home. Why would you throw a party for teenagers at your own home? And it's not like he wasn't there. He was there. You know how disgusting that is? I'm sorry. Like I don't know what people think that's cool, but what would a grown man be doing at a party with underage girls and underage boys? Like, what are you going to talk about? How cool life is in your in your 30s? <laughs> like, what are you going to be saying? Instead of, your life is so great that you're having to throw a party for kids at your home and you're single and alone. There's nothing that could go well there, okay? I'm not saying there was alcohol and all that stuff. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here to say all that. What I am here to say is that it's a very dangerous precedent to have underage girls with a grown man at a party at his house with no other adults around. Obviously, to say that this man got fired, and I have never seen him again. He was working at a... Uh, local uh, gas station. I talked to him about this. I said, I told him, I was like, you know, that's this is a little off. It's a little off to want to throw parties. I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, he thought he justified it and he's gone. I never haven't seen him at least for the last two months. So I don't know what happened to him, but I'm glad he's no longer working for the school. It's disgusting. And some of these men really do try to validate themselves. Just like you hear this man saying right now, I just wanted to hang out with her. What am I supposed to make of that? Sorry, I'm paranoid. For me to meet? No, potentially having sex. <laughs> he says in the thing, listen again. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. He said in the text message, he was paranoid, not because he was meeting her like he just said, we were hanging out. No, because we're potentially having sex. That is what made him paranoid. He said it in the freaking text. And he's sitting here right now saying, I just wanted to hang out with her. It's just like so goofy. Look at him. But that Watch is where him. the breaking the law comes from. Right. Punishable up to 20 years. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? Well, the plan on having sex. Do you have them in your car? Don't forget no. he took the pill, guys. No. I'm going to find out, so you might as well tell me now. I don't. Go ahead, check the car. You will never tell anyone about us having sex. <laughs> Are you sure? That's what the, your intentions, bro. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, I could be there Saturday afternoon. Explain. So Explain I, it to me. Just wanted to come hang out and... It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Okay. Is there is that against the law to like... To, to have sex with a 13-year-old girl no. when you're 44? Yes, no, it's to against meet, the law. To meet, to meet a girl. That's all I've done. You see how this looks. Okay, but... But but you also see that I was pretty apprehensive about the whole sex thing? Did you see that I was apprehensive about it? You should have been. What the? What are we talking about? <laughs> you're acting like you're someone on some moral high horse by saying, "Do you see though that I, I felt like it was bad, bro?" You're talking to a 13 year old little girl. Everything you did from the second you kept texting her was all bad. So why why are you starting to sit up here like, but I you know I did think it was wrong, bro. 
You just took a pill to have intercourse. And you want to sit here and act like, did you see I was apprehensive about it? Of course you were, dummy, because you, you just said you know you would go to jail. You're not apprehensive because you think it's wrong. You were apprehensive because you thought you were going to go to jail. These men, I tell you, don't show no remorse. Well, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't anybody be if they were right. going to try to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? Oh, thank you, Chris. Just what I said. But, uh, to be honest with you, yeah. you're not going to believe me, but I don't, I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're like, you know, law enforcement. But you think I'm law enforcement? Well, I mean, that's what it, it sounds like. I was thinking about this on the way down. Right. You had two and a half hours to think about it. And, <laughs> and, um, and I, I wasn't going to, I'm not going to risk it. That's, that's what I said. It's not. To turn back around. Let's go back home. Like, you're, you're making it seem like it's so normal. Dude, hanging out with a 13 year old girl, there's nothing good that it could have came out of this situation. Nothing. And you're talking about, ah, I'm not going to risk it. And then you got to take a pill so you can be on rock hard. And then be like, ah, but I didn't want to risk it. Dude, shut up. Normal for a 44 year old guy to drive two and a half hours to hang out with a 13 year old. He got the same face I did. You see, his face is kind of like, what are you talking about? You know when you get that face? When you get that face, like, um, but that sounds like a load of bullshit. It's not normal for a 44-year-old guy to drive two and a half hours to hang out with a 13-year-old girl. I wanted, I wanted to hang out, see how she was, see if... A 13-year-old girl? How often do you do this with I wanted to hang out, see how she was. What are you talking about? She's 13! 13! There's nothing you need to know! There's nothing you need to know! She's 13! Like, what... Bro, I'm about to go insane. Never done it. You've never done it. So tonight, you just decided, okay, I'm going to drive two and a half hours oh, yeah, down I-95 from Boston yeah, been talking to, her to this house. Yeah, talking to her and seemed cool to hang out with. I mean, what the You can't nothing, find any I had nothing older else. girls? I can, but I had nothing else going on. So you decided you'd just come out and hang out with a 13-year-old girl? Yeah, you can clearly... You can clearly see that I'm very apprehensive about that. Let's life. say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, nobody can know about it. I just can't take that chance. What it sounds like here is you're grooming about it. As long as you're say under 16, again, age of consent, parenthetically. How would we do this? Let's say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, nobody can know about it. So you were going to go hang out with a 13-year-old girl. You said in your own text messages that y'all couldn't technically hang out because there's no age of consent. And what if y'all like each other? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean if y'all like each other? What do you mean, boy? <laughs> like each other. Like this is a full-grown adult. You're talking like a child. But what if we like each other and we want to, oh my God, this is so childlike. Like, even if a grown adult would say that to another grown adult, it'd be weird. It's like, well, <laughs> what if we end up liking each other? It's like, what do you mean if we end up, what? I just can't take that chance. What it sounds like here is you're grooming her, yep. testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had sex with her. So no one would find out. To be honest with you, like I said, when I was on the way down, right, I was thinking hours. about the whole thing, and and even before I left, right, I was thinking I'm not gonna have sex with her unless it's legal. So, <laughs> what? I'm not gonna think about having sex with her unless it's legal. Let me, but bro, the, you knew she was 13. What, what do you mean? Like, the more he talks, the stupider he sounds. So you talk about a plan to make it legal, to marry her, yeah, right? Yeah, not like, not in two seconds. I mean, like, so if you liked her, like next week, shaking boy, the week after you'd marry a thirteen-year-old no, girl. Not next week. Like no. when? So after just a few days worth of chatting, you decide you love her. No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. You it's, want to marry her? You don't know. See, he just falls apart every chance he gets. Do you want to have sex with her? I don't know. The co correct answer would have been no. See, every time, see, Chris is grilling him. And you know his true attention, but he said, do you want to have sex with her? It's, he said, are you in love with her? No. Do you want to have sex with her? I don't know. For those who are just listening, I'm just staring into the camera. 
blankly. What do you mean you don't know? She's 13. I don't know. I was just throwing things out, like, you know, just in case. I, maybe I did like her. Maybe it was, you know. So then you'd marry a 13-year-old girl because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. Thank you for watching. <laughs> That's all, folks. He just said it. Really cool and you could have sex. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. After a while. Yeah. Well, like three years of dating? I don't know. A romantic courtship? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. So you're cool with all this. You're, you, so you would romantically court this girl for three years while she's underage the whole time. Thank you, Chris, for breaking this man down. You broke his spirit. This man has been like, yeah, sure, cool, maybe. I mean, yeah, of course. You just think this is just fine. Martian here see, to this home. See, I know. See, I know. I know what you. I know what you. You're. Well, what? At. What do you mean? See, for the one time, Chris didn't really press you into this. He asked you questions. And you said, "Yeah." You didn't know what else to do because you're you're stuck. Because the only way to get out of this would have been never to show up. Because the fact that you showed up, you pretty much have to answer every question. Yes. Because anytime he says you wanted to hang out with a thirteen year old, yes. To do what? Date her? Yes. To have sex with her? I don't know. To marry her? Maybe. It's just like, he just asked you the questions. Here are the text messages. That's what you said. It's, I'm just telling you what you said. What else am I supposed to think, Jeff? Do I, I mean, do I seem like a, like, a, like a dishonest, dirty person? Yes. Absolutely. You just said if things work out, you'd have sex with her. You would marry her. You would romantically court her for three years until she was the age of consent. Do I seem like a dirty person? Yes. <laughs> Everything up to this point has told me in my head, you seem like a dirty, filthy, disgusting pig. I mean, there's nothing else. Like, what, what do you mean? You mean after the conversation we just had, do I think you're a dirty person? What in the world has told me that you're not, buddy? You haven't said anything to me that make me think, you know what, this might be a nice guy. No. I mean, do I, do I seem like it to you? This yes. chat seems like it. I would have said yes, I would have said it. Yeah. <sighs> Ain't nothing on earth that could have convinced me. It seems like Chad, someone... This boy's still here eating his damn pizza. Who is 44 chat. years old. Chad is chat. Right? Chad is chat, but showing up is showing up. And guess what, Jeff? You showed up. At a home where you knew a 13-year-old girl would be alone. Yeah. After a sexually charged conversation online. Yeah. You come in. Oh, I want to hug you. Yeah. yeah. The little girl is nervous. Yeah. You do it with everybody. Yeah. You do that every time you meet a 13-year-old girl. I, I do it when I meet somebody for the first time. Okay, them. but this somebody is not an adult, Jeff. She's 13. She's 13, Jeff. Can you please tell me who you are? I'll tell you who I'm you trying. I'm trying to be nice here. I, okay. I, I'm, so am I. But I, you're not answering all my questions. I will. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. So if there's anything else you want people to know, Anything you want to say, now would be a good time to say it. I can't believe this happened. Did you bring any sort of a marriage contract? No. So what was all that talk about? I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. You, can, you can leave. On camera. I you can leave. What do you mean I can leave? You can leave. And then what? That's not up to me. What do you think happened, buddy? This is up to. Me. It's not up to me. Enjoy your last water, buddy. You didn't have to eat biscuits and gravy in the in the jailhouse. Come here, dude. See, I know, oh, I know, brother. You think it's to yourself, man? I could be at home right now, being a weirdo. But now here I am, here, being a weirdo, and I'm going to jail. My life is over. What do you do for a living, John? I don't want to talk anymore. There's insurance business, right? Cameras rolling. Insurance? I don't want to talk anymore. All right. As I said, you're free to leave. Can you shut it off? I cannot shut it off. I mean, what is this? It's an investigation for a television program called Hanson vs. Predator, where we investigate grown people who go online and try to create inappropriate illegal relationships with underage children. 
So unless you have something else to say, now would be a good time to go. I don't have anything else to say. All right, then. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. It's so the cops man. there? We'll see. Okay. Or the, uh, if they're here, just bring them in. It'd be best if you went out that way. <sighs> take the last swig. You're gonna be drinking out of a mug. Eating biscuits and gravy. Just out through the garage. Let's go, man. It's over. Sokol was sentenced to seven years in prison, serving a mandatory 30 months. He is eligible for parole in June. And that's it. What you see. And that's it. 17 minute video, 40 minute breakdown. I love these videos. Um, not because I, it's not that I really care about people getting put in jail and all that. It's because I see this in my own life. I, I, obviously, I work with kids for so long. I've heard so many stories. I've seen one of the guys, I've seen a man who is a teacher who did something to a little girl and ended up marrying her. This kind of situation, not necessarily she was 13, but she was like uh, 15, I believe she was a sophomore. And they end up getting married. And then they have a kid today, together. Um, and this guy has gone after other little girls. And I try to explain to you guys, you just never know who it is. But I also want to break down the psyche of what these men think. So when you see this, you're going around and you see any kind of man, obviously women too. But if you see a man doing this to a little boy, a man doing this to a little girl, a girl doing this to a young man. Any adult you see who tries to get validation from children, please have your antennas up. I'm not saying everybody who does that is trying to go after little kids, but it is something you need. It is a telltale sign. If you see somebody, an adult, who talks to kids a lot, and to the point where they even try to be cool, meaning they'll talk to the kids like they're friends, look into it. You, you'll be able to tell the difference. And what do I mean by that? So there's adults, obviously coaches and stuff like that, that are going to be not necessarily friendly with the kids, but they're going to be like joking. They don't mess with the kids. I understand that. There's a difference. Because the difference is, say there's this little Billy over there going, hey, Billy, <laughs> I ain't know what a good joke would be. But just like if you're a coach, Hey, Billy, are you going to strike out today? Come on now. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Hey, Billy, hey, try to remember, the, the goal is to hit the ball. Like, that that kind of joking. But it's a completely different story. But um, he's sitting next to Billy all the time. And he's like, yeah, man, <laughs> what do you think about that little girl, huh? <laughs> Stuff like that, man. Or you see uh, a guy or a girl always around the same group of kids, same group of girls, just sitting down with them at the lunch table, having conversations like, yeah, and I was telling her, like, she's, you, it's hard to really explain unless you've seen it, but you'll know. You'll know the difference between somebody who's joking with kids and being part of the kids. You know, you're not trying to make yourself completely socially awkward um, to the kids because, you you know, you're trying to. Uh, build a facility that where the kids can feel like, you know, they're safe and stuff like that. But you can just tell how, and when it comes to discipline, certain teachers act a certain way when it comes to discipline. Certain teachers are always strict. They don't care which kid it is, they're strict. You know, don't do this. I told this person not to do it. You can't do it either. I don't care who you are. And then there's people who are just like, oh, they'll tell this person not to do it. But then they'll come to this girl and be like, oh, you know, she, you know, she, you know how she is. She's popular. It's just, I, I, I wish I could explain it much better. And I'll try to work on that to be able to explain this much better. But I'm just telling you, you notice how some people, okay, let me say it like this. If you're married or you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, <clears throat> if you find your boyfriend or girlfriend acting too friendly with somebody, there's a difference between having a conversation and joking with somebody and your boyfriend or girlfriend being a little bit too friendly. Does that make sense? 
like I said, I'll try my, I'll try better to uh, do that. But look, be on the lookout. Any adult you see being really friendly with the kid, just just scrap it quick, man. Um, to keep your kids away from that person because who is the person who's only going to go after your daughter? Sometimes today it's more like online strangers, but it can also be somebody very close to your family. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoy. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. If you don't, I'm probably still going to make them anyway because I enjoy it. But I will try to do better stuff to make it more entertaining for you guys and continue to improve. It's my first time doing this big of a breakdown of a video like this. I've obviously done bigger breakdowns of other types of videos like cop videos. But I'm really trying to um, teach more people about the dangers of predators from my experience of working with kids for over 20 years. Well, 20 years, not quite. I got right to 20 years. All right. I hope you guys have a great night. Goodbye.